name at the start, the beginning, how did the band get together? Hey, what does this mean? You won it. Um, I was absolutely skinned and I ended up going to the pub with my mate said he'd buy me a drink and that and I ran into Dom and I uh, said like, you know, I want to get into the band and that. just said, oh, yeah, she was, she was doing it. She was getting get stuck in. So we, we started the band for two weeks after that, didn't we? Yeah, look at how different we looked from the band now and um, I think. I'll play all 10,000 as well, so look at that look. Look at his face. <laughs> so how did you do? Um, sorry, then this Leo. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, Liam came in 2012 after our old bass player left, and uh, he just started a beautiful it was a relationship, wasn't it? <laughs> but yeah, he started them, and then uh, Jake uh, started in there. He uh, did his first gig with us at Manchester Psych Fest, and uh, yeah, it's just gone on from there, really. Um, you've recently done your short tour down south. What did you enjoy about that? It was just really nice to do a proper tour, to be honest. Um, and well, we've got to, we've got to Brighton, where I've never actually been before. I've been quite some for ages so going that, but the gigs were just ace, and the promoters really looked after us and that. Um, it, like I say, we, we usually do like you know pretty much every Friday and Saturday and stuff, but we never actually done like a proper tour. So when we did then, it was, it was just nice to actually kind of do it properly and actually like, experience a tour and sleep on old mates' floors and stuff like that. <laughs> It's usually a self-promoting one. Yeah. Self yeah, yeah. So it was, and um, twice, uh, one of the main ones was um, Good Soul Promotions that we played with in uh, London. They were just, I, I couldn't speak highly enough of them. Uh, we've never really had promoters like that where they just couldn't do enough for us and that. So it was just it's a good experience, wasn't it? Yeah. It was, yeah, it was good. It was, um, it's different to run along the gig because it was like sort of life on the road and being cooked up and going to meeting new people every day and fighting off and looking at your channel first and some of the bed. Yeah, <laughs> dumb one of it's hard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you just <laughs> best jam out. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and it, it will twice most of it. We're just sat in the back watching South Park, weren't we? Me and even Jake, so South Park and Bob's Burgers, so it was great. And I'll have to go with that stab of South Park and South Park. Revelation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, so, you've also had a busy festival season over the summer, which you enjoy not playing the festivals. You, you, you gain to a new crowd that you usually play for. Um, the, the festivals, they're more especially were just ace. Um, Golden Street Sesh was, it was the biggest crowd we played, so it was just, it was mad. I kind of walked on stage, there's looking at my shoes, and I pick up my guitar, tell me I'm going to look out, and there's like thousands of people there. So it kind of, it was frightening, but you, you got something from it, you know, it was ace. Yeah. But then we, we haven't really had a bad gig at all. No, they were, they were all ace. All the festivals were really great. Like, even when we played Trinity, I, me and Liam was at football. I would say before, and, and I was in the pub before the game, and loads of people coming to them. It seemed to be when we were playing and coming down, which was quite, I think, quite a nice thing. Yeah. Like, we never really had that before the game. Before. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, when we were on stage, we were playing the trip, and there's some big, big hairy bloke on somebody's shoulder with his shirt off, throwing it round, lasso in it. <laughs> So that was something else. Yeah, <laughs> might fell over. Yeah, well. I fell over. <laughs> there we go. I and and I, I cracked a rib doing it. So really? that was great. Um, <laughs> slipped on some water that um, they from mother okay. threw over the uh, stage. Slipped on that, fell against the uh, drum riser and cracked a rib. Brilliant. I think that was then we did another gig straight after as well. Yeah, didn't we? Went to <laughs> yeah. I think that was probably, of all the gigs we did, that was probably the most standout one. Yeah. It was just so weird with new formations, both gigs. Like on the curb here, we, just, we got there, we didn't really know what to make of it. It was, it was very cool, we got the bar, but very old, didn't we? Right. And when we were playing, there was lots of people dancing at the front, throwing very weird moves. It was like watching toddlers at a birthday party. Yeah. It was ace. It was yeah. a really, really good gig, and we got encores and stuff yeah. as well, which was really nice. So, it, like you say, the festival season couldn't have been better for us, really. I'm just, just gutted it's over. <laughs> Do you find it's different playing to a whole crowd than to somewhere else? Yeah. It's, I think even not so much a crowd, the whole experience of it, because like, in Rome you've got a lot more weight around. It, it, the whole gig seemed different, so it's because out of town you, you turn up, load your gear in, you do wait around a bit still, but in Hull it's like you're seeing all your mates and stuff, so it's a different thing. Hull's um, our biggest crowd. So, yeah. So you notice the more busy people, you know, the songs are more. Yeah. Well, you notice know, you know, more in old people, so 
got to see her on the phone. And you've supported some really big names um, most recently, the Kaiser Chiefs, the View, Stranglers. How have you found that experience? It's just really nice to play along with such great bands. Like we've spotted Drenge twice now as well, and I still say that was the best album I bought last year. So to support bands who were really big fans on it, we're lucky. We're really lucky to have had that opportunity. And like the Stranglers one in particular, that yeah, was Stranglers. Like we all grew up listening to the Stranglers songs. Yeah, yeah. Well, classic, cool, classic band now, classic cool band now. And I saw my first ever gig at Hull City when I was eight. Russian colour scene, so. I had to go on, st on that stage and then support a band to I love as well. And um, it was just mad, like, there's a bit before we went on stage and we're kind of waiting in this, like, back area and we were just absolutely cacking ourselves. Really, really nervous. I mean, I, I don't really get nervous too much anymore, but like that, I was shaking. And uh, Sheffield was helping us with our gear and stuff. He said the funniest bit was, like, my dad, who was our manager, he like, put his hand on my shoulder like, like that. I went, no, no. <laughs> so I was just frightened, but then there was that bit where the stage manager goes, right, the lights are out, and you just open the door, and right, you're on, lads. That walk on, it's Yeah. And, you know, it's one of the things, if you get a good perception with a band when you're supporting a big band like that, it's nice as well, because you know, a lot of people aren't bothered about the support band, they just want to go see the drain launches or the view or the moons or the stranglers or whatever. We've got the people there, like, I've got feedback from people who in the crowd, and they didn't just, oh, yeah, the yeah, I remember one gig we played uh, and uh, I think it was a Welly and a girl came up to us after and said, Oh that was really good, where where are you from? I said, Holy and just saw a face drop. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, you mentioned on social media today that you've got a couple of exciting gigs coming up next month. Can we get some information? Um, well, obviously, we've got our new single coming out. And uh, we'll announce that soon. But, um, <laughs> we're playing in Manchester at the start of the month in Leeds as well. Oh, we've yeah. been wanting to hit Leeds for a long time. Yeah, right. well, so. we've, got, we've got a few yeah. mates in Leeds as well. I've got three years ago. It's been four hours, yeah. So. We've only played in Leeds once, and then Manchester has always been really good to us. We've got a lot of friends there, and we've got a good following there. Playing with some promoters, we've got to play for the football So, yeah, we've got that, and then it's all on to 2015, really, and trying to work on stuff for there now. Yeah. Um, so, you're single the trip, you've had loads of positive feedback from music bloggers all over the internet. Um, how have you found the reception? It's it. Yeah, it's better than five. Yeah, we were never sure. I mean, one of the main things with me, obviously, it's a, it's a cover of Kim Foley. And um, we got in touch with him and sent him the song. He said, We'd love to know what you're thinking. I was thinking, If you don't like it, I'm going to be gutted. And uh, he, he wrote back saying, Great guys, love it, thank you. And he said, I've got an awesome story for you if you want to do it. <laughs> so it, it's very nice, you know, from him to yeah. get his, his praise on it. So, and just it's just really nice. We're getting reviews and we, we got paid on KCRW in California of it. Get reviews all over, yeah. and it's quite bizarre. Really. Yeah, I think I, I got a message from someone in London said, "Yeah, that's from radio, London." Yeah, a bit weird. Yeah, but it seems it's like the song. We don't really show what we can do for us, and it's sort of like sort of meant to be in the sort of side scene from around Europe. Yeah, we've got people from like this is like Europe, Serbia, do music videos for it. Yeah, the day before it, she sent over this video she'd done for the day before we released it and that. It's a really great video. And it just it's so mad to get somebody make a video for us without us nagging them for it before and so it's just it's just I'm not used to it. Yeah, seeing reviews and having to go build a tunnel there. Quite like a habit Um and then what can we expect from Black Dad? Going into 2015, um, we're looking at touring a lot more. Um, we're looking at just well, we're working on Europe at the minute, and we're going to be touring the UK quite a lot. We're touring 
record more, release more singles, and just kind of go to that next step, really. And there's a lot of things in the pipeline that we cover in certain minutes, so it's, it's really exciting. And it's one of those you've got to pinch yourself, really. And even like, if, you know, when you're talking about it, you're thinking, I'm not bullshitting. You know, but it's, it's been like, we've been on the gig for like two or three weeks now, yeah. so we've practically just been writing new songs, working on the material. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot of them songs that when you kind of write it but it doesn't happen, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't click and then we, go, we went to about six months later and there we go. It's like Hot Coals when you play playing there and they want to use songs. We've heard it first, there was just something missing from it, so we kind of went back to it after we'd done a few festivals and that. And it, it oh, it's changed into like a brand new, yeah. brand new, brand new song. Yeah, that's it. Like it's time, it's about the time it's just like, yeah, it's just something's clicked with it, and that's basically what's up with a lot of all new stuff, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. Odd little bits here and there, popping up and making new songs. Yeah, it's like it's like like yeah. So, yeah. more singles. Yeah, yeah, it's exciting. Black Dots Movement 2015. Yeah, yeah, Brilliant. Thanks very much. Cheers. Yeah.